Hello guys. I play World of Tanks Blitz every day and encounter a lot of noobs regularly. Well that might sound harsh so let's call them beginners. Though to be honest, there are some who are real noobs. Today, talk about the most beloved tanks of these newcomers. Play at different levels every day and often see newbies playing the same tanks repeatedly. If you check their stats, you'll notice they have a ton of battles on these tanks. Come on, admit it. Do any of you fall into this category? Bet at least half of you do. No need to hide it. Even when I was no longer a newbie, I didn't mind playing on those tanks, let alone the beginners. In this video, discuss one tank at each tier, and at the end of the video, you'll see the results of my giveaway. So watch till the end and don't skip ahead. This list starts with tier 6, where we have the tank that all players know, the Soviet heavy tank KV-2. Everyone has different opinions about this tank. Some hate it with a passion, whether they play against it or use it themselves. Others love it dearly. Let's find out why beginners adore it. First and foremost, it's a tier 6 tank so you can quickly grind through it, even in just one day if you try. Secondly, this tank can obliterate enemies in one shot, if you're lucky that is. If luck isn't on your side, your shots will constantly fly into the ground, rocks or maybe even the sky. It's not uncommon for this tank. Now let's dig deeper into its characteristics. It has two guns, and we'll start with the less interesting but more effective one. This gun deals 320 damage per shot and has a decent reload time for a tier 6 tank. In fact, if you play with this gun, the tank can be considered one of the best at tier 6. The second gun, however, is more often used by beginners. It has terrible penetration, an incredibly long reload, and even worse accuracy. But its damage per shot is a nightmare for light and medium tanks, and even tank destroyers and heavy tanks suffer from its powerful shots. Beginners usually don't care much about penetration and just play with high explosive rounds, as they don't need to worry about aiming for weak spots. Each shot will deal at least 300 damage regardless of where you hit. I can give you a piece of advice when going through this tech tree. Don't waste experience on the bad gun. Instead, save up and unlock the gun with 320 damage. You'll have to do it anyway if you want to get the KV-3, and it will significantly improve your performance. As for armor and mobility, well, this tank lacks both. It's very slow, and even another KV-2 can penetrate your turret front with high explosive shells. So I don't recommend playing this tank, it won't teach you much. Moving on to tier 7, we encounter every newbie's sweet dream, the Smasher. This tank dominates at tier 7 and even tier 8, but you might say, Swetchman, it's a collector's tank that costs a considerable amount of money. And you'd be absolutely right. Until a beginner buys it, they will play with the SU-152, here we have the same gun as the KV-2 but with slightly better characteristics. First, the reload time is nearly twice as fast, and secondly the penetration has increased. Now we have quite potent gold heat rounds with 250mm of penetration, alongside the familiar high explosive shells. One-shotting enemies won't happen as often at this tier as all tanks have more hit points, and the damage from a single HE shell might not be enough. But what I want to point out is the armour. It's supposed to be non-existent, but due to the seams on the armor plates, the front of the tank has many red zones where enemy shells often go through. Don't forget about the huge gun mantlet and thick gun barrel. While going through this tank, I advise you to unlock both of the next guns right away. You might think it's optional and you could proceed to the next tank, but you'll eventually have to unlock those guns anyway. Playing with the stock. SU-152 is much easier than playing at Tier 8. Now let's talk about Tier 8, where there are quite a few tanks that beginners love like the ISU-152, Borsig Waffentrager, or even the Tiger II, which is actually a great tank. But no, the most popular tank among beginners is the T-49, the American light tank. Let's focus on its main feature, the gun. Again, we have high explosive rounds. Have you noticed how much beginners love high explosive shells? It's not surprising, they are so easy to use. But there are secrets to using them even more effectively, and I'll tell you about them in the next videos, so subscribe not to miss it. Returning to the T-49, since it's a light tank, it obviously lacks armor. However, it excels in speed, accelerating up to 72 km per hour quickly and confidently. Now a few words about its gun. There are only two types of shells, and the high explosive rounds act as gold ammunition. The penetration is terrible for Tier 8, as is the overall accuracy. The gun also has a long reload time, 
Despite having an alternative gun, I still recommend playing with the high explosive rounds because gathering loads of experience on the T-54E1 while using the boring gun is a real pain. Alright, we've reached tier 9 and here it's tough to pick a specific tank. There are no big gun HE tanks but we do have one specimen, the Waffenträger Alf PZ-4, a German tank destroyer with a turret and a decent gun. You know it's almost like an 11 the tier tank due to its super gun, super accuracy and pleasant 600 damage per shot. Although before it was 640 damage, not sure why they nerfed it across the whole tech tree. This tank isn't one I recommend you grind, not because it's bad but because it heavily depends on your skill. In the hands of a skilled player, it's like an 11th tier tank, but in the hands of a noob who camps in bushes all battle, it's just a damage piñata for tanks like the T-49. Oh by the way, the tank has additional consumables for increased accuracy and provisions for reducing damage from enemy HE shells. I strongly advise using them, and let's move on. Now the finale of this video. I'm sure you all know which tank will be here, it's the FB215B183, the British Tier 10 tank destroyer. Its main feature is the gun, which has Hesh rounds with an incredible 1300 damage and 220 penetration. And with calibrated shells it's even more. By the way, if you're grinding or have already bought this tank, make sure to equip calibrated shells. It's crucial. This way, you can penetrate even heavy tanks frontally with Hesh rounds. Besides Hesh, we have AP shells with 930 damage and 300 mm of penetration. Playing with this tank, you'll have a 90% chance of penetrating any enemy. The only thing you need to do is hit the enemy, and that's where the problem starts because the tank's accuracy is terrible. If you miss, well, be prepared to wait 21 seconds for the gun to reload. Considering you have no armor, no mobility, and the turret doesn't rotate fully, you become an easy target for light and medium tanks. Maybe the developers will change this tank's characteristics in update 10.3. They already showed changes to the American and German tank tech trees. I wonder what they'll do with this tank. I think they might increase its damage a bit and in return, worsen its accuracy. Share your suggestions for buffing or nerfing this tank in the comments. Now let's get to the giveaway results and to keep it fair I'll pick the winners right in the video. Here we go. As you can see some people could have won a free battle pass but they somehow didn't participate in the giveaway. One of the conditions was to provide your contact details so that I could reach out to you. That's why I chose the first three who did. I also noticed that most of you don't have Discord, Instagram or Telegram. It's a pity that it turned out this way. In the future I'll definitely take this into account for the next giveaways. Congratulations to the giveaway winners. And if you weren't lucky, don't worry because I'll have more giveaways in the future. And if Wargaming agrees to collaborate with me, the prizes will be even more exciting. Thanks to everyone for watching this video. I hope you've picked up some valuable tips and your skill will improve. Until next time, goodbye.